it's time for another week of What's for Dinner. These beans are from our garden. These potatoes I had um, already prepped in mason jars in my fridge. I had these turned on this morning, just getting them started. And now I am adding a big chunk of neck bones to get them flavored up. You can use whatever you want in your green beans or poor man stew or whatever you're making. Um, salt, pork, bacon, whatever. But I had these in the freezer from when we got our pig last winter. And so I thought these would go great in my pot of green beans. So I'm just gonna let those simmer away all day. I did come back and add some onions into the crock pot as well. I'm also just seasoning these uh, beans and potatoes with a little bit of garlic powder and black pepper. I'm going to hold off on the salt because I'm not quite sure how salty this piece of meat is going to be and we can always add salt at the end. Over here on these two paper towels I have some mushrooms that I got already sliced from the store but I'm just letting them lay out on a paper towel just so that they can kind of get some air. Um, a lot of times when you get mushrooms from the store and they're packaged and everything, they have a little condensation in there. So I'm just making sure that they're wiped off real good and that they're nice and dry. I don't like slimy mushrooms at all. And then next, this um, zucchini came out of our garden, so I've already washed them up. And I'm getting ready to get that chopped up so that we can saute um, the zucchini and the sliced mushrooms with some onion and a little bit of olive oil. And that we're gonna make steak today. So that's gonna go along with our steaks as a side dish. And I'm also making the green beans. So we are having a lot of veggies today but um, I don't want any of this stuff to go to waste and I'm not uh, ready to really do anything else that's you know, productive with the veggies from the garden yet, like canning or freezing. Just not really feeling up to all of that. Um, I'm doing better as far as getting around and making meals. I can stand and chop now, so. Um, I'm not using crutches or anything at all, but I still have some pain and um, I can only do so much for so long until I get tired, but it is what it is and um, I'm just happy to be able to do this much. So anyway, not canning. I'm not sure if I'll even get to that this year. I did plan on doing that. I bought a bunch of mason jars last year so that I could can whatever we get out of our garden this year, but Oh well, if I don't get to, then I don't get to. But we will be trying to eat up as much of this good food from our garden as quick as we can. So that's why we are having lots of veggies tonight with our dinner. And so I have my beans in the crock pot. I'm getting the um, other stuff ready. I will be sauteing that on the stove top. We're going to be grilling some steaks and Bill's going to do that part. So we're doing um, a few different methods of cooking today and I'm not sure what all I will get filmed but um, in the end we will have grilled steak and lots of fresh veggies. All right, so I have been buying these little uh, packs of peeled garlic from Walmart, and then I just pop them into my freezer. Um, I hate to peel garlic, and I've just found this to be a lot easier. I can just crush it or mince it, whatever. Just pull it out of the freezer and use it. I did microwave it for like 30 seconds to get it thawed out a little. It's pretty hot. But I am gonna throw this all right into my whole mixture here, and I know, those are some big chunks, but I can always move around them. And my husband loves garlic and especially 
like whole cloves of garlic like that. Anyway, it's gonna flavor up everything else and then I can mash it later after it's nice and soft or whatever, or he can dig out a piece if he wants. We're not gonna judge, but that's one of his little guilty pleasures. I don't know how he does it. But anyway, I have my zucchini all chopped up in here along with uh, the garlic, mushrooms, and my onions. Just gonna put the lid on and let it saute. I lied, I'm back. I need to add some salt and pepper. Okay, now we're good to go. On Monday, I took my grandson Jacob out for a late birthday dinner and shopping. He wanted to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. He wasn't really wanting to be on camera, but it was all playful, and he um, wasn't really mad about it or anything. Afterward, we went and got ice cream. We had a wonderful night out celebrating his 12th birthday. Hey, I've got some potatoes here that I've washed and I've cut off any bad spots on the skins. I really don't feel like peeling potatoes today, so I'm just kind of leaving them on unless I see a bad spot and then just peel that off. Just getting those potatoes into some water. Get that going. And I know that a um, seafood boil tastes better the longer it has to cook, but we don't have a long time. And this really is just one of the easiest meals to throw together. Next time, just putting some frozen little mini ears of corn in as well. I'm going to have to remove some of my water I think because it's pretty full. But we're going to get this going. Get that corn thawed out and cooking. I got rid of some of the water that was in the pan and next I'm going to add a couple of these Saison Goya packets. I think that's how you say it. Just to season up that water. Ooh, that's really red, isn't it? Oh, well, it's fine. I'm also adding one of these packets of peeled garlic. I just put that in the microwave to thaw it out. It was frozen in my freezer. And this is going to give this a lot of good flavor. Okay, next going into the pot is a big onion. And I cut them in really big slices and I'm just going to leave them as they are. I would add some Old Bay but we're out so I'm going to put a little bit of Cajun seasoning in. I'm going to prepare my sausage but I'm not going to add it yet because we don't like it to be really mushy or overcooked. So I have a piece that's left over and then one of these Polska kielbasas. Okay, this sausage as well as the shrimp will go in later. Okay, all I'm going to do now is put the lid on my pot and let it do its thing. 
until my potatoes and corn are ready and then I'll add the rest of the ingredients. All right, those potatoes are nice and soft. So next I'm going to get the sausage pieces added. Give that a stir. Just like that. Okay, stop. All right, I'm going to plop a few eggs down into the liquid here. I did rinse these eggs off before putting them in. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but it just made me feel better about doing it. Oop, get down in there. And I'm gonna work on getting the tails off of my shrimp and then that's gonna go in the pot too. All of the tails are taken off of our shrimp and these are already cooked, so they are going to go in very last minute. I'm just gonna fish those eggs out and then get them peeled. Then they're going back in. ready to get my dinner ready so in my bowl I am just putting one of these cups of quinoa that I heated up in the microwave I'm just gonna put that down in my bowl first normally I would probably have rice with this but just didn't feel like making rice I'm gonna get a piece of corn And I'm gonna scoop out some of the potatoes and the sausage and shrimp. Then I'm gonna go back in with a ladle so that I can get some of that delicious broth. Spoon that right in there as well. I want one of those boiled eggs. All right, I'm gonna move you over here so you can actually see how delicious this is. Of course, I am gonna come back in with a little bit of salt and pepper on this egg. And my favorite part is this egg that just gets um, soaked up into this broth right here. This looks so good. I'm ready to eat. It is super hot right now, so we're going to give it just a minute to cool off. But that is dinner for tonight. By Thursday, I was pretty much feeling like I was out of ideas and out of energy, so that's why I had bought up some hot dogs to have on hand for days such as these where all I could muster up was some potato salad, some mac salad, and some hot dogs.
When Friday rolled around, Bill said that he wanted to go to Red Lobster and have the unlimited shrimp. I had um, some fish and a baked potato, and I had leftovers to bring home, so that was nice. And then on Saturday morning, it was so nice to have the day off and spend a little time uh, going around in the garden and seeing what was ready for picking. I got some zucchini and some jalapenos and also some chili peppers, a couple of tomatoes. And then I just brought them in the house and got them washed up and decided that I would make some chili just to get some of those peppers uh, used up. Here's a bell pepper that I found laying on the ground. Looks like an animal got it. I guess you win some and you lose some. And we have plenty of tomatoes that are going to be ready soon and also some more cucumbers coming in. And then we have a few straggler strawberries still growing on our vines. Later that day to get the chili started, I just got some ground beef started in a pan. I also decided that I wanted to make some jalapeno popper dip. I was planning on making stuffed jalapenos but then kind of just pooped out and decided to make a dip. It just sounded better to me and so I'm using some of the older jalapenos. That's why they're a little wrinkly and I'm just getting those chopped up. I had transferred my meat into my chili pot and so then just use the same frying pan to saute up some of those jalapenos and chopped up onions. I just wanted them to get soft. I am not a fan of raw onions. I like them cooked. I just don't like them crunchy. Um, and into the chili pot I am just putting some bell pepper and some bigger cut up onions and mixing that all in. I do have a mixture of ground beef and ground turkey in my pan. I don't know why, but I just love ground turkey in my chili and my family doesn't even notice that it's in there. So that's one of my favorite ways to make chili and they always love it and they don't even know that it's got turkey in it. I did add some bacon bits into the pan for the dip. It's just the real bacon pieces, but sometimes I like to heat them up in the pan just to get them a little um, like reconstituted or whatever. It just kind of makes them soft and more like bacony. And then here you see that I am also chopping up some red hot chili peppers to go in my chili. And to me, the chili peppers and the jalapenos were not very hot. I just went ahead and left the seeds in and this chili was not spicy at all. To us, I don't know if maybe we have a <laughs> higher heat index, but I don't know. It wasn't that spicy, but it did have really great flavor. So to my pan with the dip, I know I'm going back and forth, back and forth here, but that's real life and that's how I cook. So I do have a block of softened cream cheese that I'm putting right in to the skillet with everything else. I added some leftover taco meat. I just thought that would be good. And then another block of softened cream cheese. This is a dip. So we want it to be nice and ooey gooey and cheesy. So I am just um, melting down and mixing in the cream cheese with the meat and the peppers and the onions. And this is just turned down really low on low heat. And then in the end, I'll just come back and add some shredded uh, cheese that I shredded myself because I didn't have any others. And like I said, we're going to go back and forth here and get this chili completed. I added two cans of light kidney beans. And then I also just had a little bit of salsa. So I'm going to put that in there too. Probably about a third of a cup of or a jar of salsa and I just added some water in there to make sure I got all of the bits and pieces out of there and I needed water from my chili anyway I'm adding a big spoonful of beef bouillon 
Uh, that's just the way that my husband likes his chili. He doesn't really like it to be really tomatoey. And since I didn't really have any tomatoes, I didn't add any this time. I did add a packet of chili seasoning and stirred that in. And then I'm gonna come back with another packet of this tomato chicken bouillon seasoning. And this is just so good to me. And I got it on sale somewhere. I don't remember where, maybe at Ollie's or something. And so I've just been using those whenever possible to get those used up. And here, like I said, I was just adding some cheese into my dip. Gonna get that stirred in and then transfer it into another bowl and then put it in the freezer so that it can be nice and cold when it's time to eat it. Like I said, I do apologize for jumping back and forth between the chili and the dip, but that is what life is all about in the kitchen. It is called multitasking. And so here, like I said, I'm just going to transfer that dip into a bowl that I can put into the refrigerator. And you saw how stringy that cheese was. And this was so good. This could have been a meal on its own. And it actually um, almost was because um, I only decided last minute that I was actually going to eat the chili because I was sampling this dip so much that I kind of got full but here you can see how smooth and cheesy that dip is and everybody just loved this so I will definitely make this again it was super easy and at dinner time, I just happened to have some of my baked potato left over from Red Lobster. So I was having that with my bowl of chili and my dip and my crackers on the side. And that was our dinner for the last day of the week. And here is where I say my goodbyes. And I thank you so much for stopping by and supporting my channel. I cannot wait to talk to you in the comments. I will see you next time.